Hello everybody, so today it is Wednesday. This is actually also the end day of the vlog, but also the beginning, so I thought I'd start it now. I just had really bad skin over the weekend and I didn't want to vlog and intro this because I have to see it. That's the first thing I see when I like sign off the video after Lauren edits it. And it was making me really sad, so I was like, I'm gonna wait. I'm just gonna wait a few days. But anyway, I wanted to just intro this vlog. This is my at home like beauty treatments. The Susie Spa is open for business. I've had so many questions on what I'm doing at home. So I thought I'd put this video together and just vlog everything I'm doing beauty wise throughout the week. So yeah, there are definitely gonna be a few changes. And so many of you asked to see me take my extensions out. So I have made sure to vlog that for you. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments for me because I don't know how much information to give. So just ask away and I will get back to you and answer everything in full as best I can. I can. I'm gonna sit down. I always end up starting my vlog standing up and then I wish I hadn't. So yeah, at home beauty routines. I have seen a few comments recently that some on my platform and some just everywhere else of people being like, is anyone else really excited to see all of these bloggers? And I, I quote this because I've seen this. Faces melt off because they aren't able to get their filler, Botox, hair, bleach, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, people are dying and you're excited to see if my face may or may not, which it won't, melt off. It's honestly killed me. So yeah, it just made me think about priorities. Like, you know, this is a very nasty situation we're all in and you know, we could all be a bit kinder and maybe not get so excited that people like, and it's not just bloggers, like my mum can't have her hair bleached and I know how much that upsets her and that's not a fun thing. So yeah, priorities, just think about that, that there's so much worse going on in the world than not being able to have your hair bleached. Like I'm just, me and my mum are just thankful that she is healthy and happy and at home. No one's really whinging that much. I was very excited to be able to take my hair extensions out because I was actually quite looking forward to it. And I'm not worried about my, be like my beauty routine is like the most low key thing. Like I have put it off for weeks because it's not a priority right now. It doesn't matter because there are so many more important things in the world. So number one priorities. Number two, at least when I get out of lockdown, I won't have spent my lockdown leaving comments like that because Route. So yeah, I just wanted to touch on that. And whilst I'm here, I thought I might as well, because I touched on it later in this video. I thought I'd talk to you about things that I have had done that aren't like hair nails, like to my face. Let's call them injectables. That's a fun word. Just because that comment did also touch on it, like people not being able to have their filler and their faces are going to melt off. And I'm like, no, that's not how filler works. And that was on my list of things to also point out. And then I was like, uh, I'm going to get so many comments being like, well, you'd know. And yes, I would because full disclosure, because I do mention it later on in the video, I had my lips done years ago, two years ago. So I'm not worried about being in lockdown because I haven't had them done for two years and I'm pretty sure there's no filler left in them. These are my lips. They're just very overlined, but these are my natural lips. And I had Botox once a very long time ago and it made sort of a difference because I didn't need it because I'm 28. So yeah, whilst we're on this little bandwagon of bloggers faces melting off because they can't get to their doctors. That's not how it works. And most of us haven't had as much work done as you think we have. So yeah, I thought I'd just get that out of the way at the start of the video, just in case I didn't mention it and people were like, well, I know you've had filler and what are you doing about that? I'm going to a doctor, haven't been in two years. This face is all mine, baby, all mine. So yeah, I wanted to mention those comments because I don't like those comments. I think they're very rude and also very insensitive given the current climate because beauty is a nice luxury that we have at the moment to be able to do things at home, but it's not like the be all and end all. So I wanted to point that out. And also just to be a bit honest because I found I've been so much more honest in <laughs> these lockdown vlogs and it actually feels very freeing. <sighs> the tapes are out, cars are all out on the table, my nails are short, uh. Well, I've bleached my moustache. I hope you enjoy this video. Love you all lots and let's get into it. Good morning, everybody. So today it is Sunday. This is day one in Spa Susie. Today I am doing tan and nails. I might also do a couple of other bits if I have time. I'm not sure, but I've decided to work through my priority list in this order. Tan, just because it always really makes me feel good. And I know that later down the line, if the extensions come out, my tan has become more of my security blanket than my hair these days. So my hair is more of a nuisance to me than a security blanket anymore. So I'm really excited to have a fresh tan. And my nails are starting to become very painful basically i think my tip my acrylic tip has finally grown out past my finger so it's weighted really badly so i think all the weight is kind of like on the part that's not on my nail anymore and it's like pulling the acrylic up i don't want to like gross anyone out but the acrylic like comes away from my finger and it gets stuck in my hair so washing my hair this morning i have freshly washed hair 
just also just being a pain honestly it's one of my worst nightmares because your hands just like get stuck in your hair it's disgusting it's one of the worst feelings in the world along with your toenails scratching on your bed sheets so i think i'm gonna do i'm actually gonna do my toenails i'm just gonna file them i'm not ready to take the gel off yet because i've got a crack in one of my toenails and uh, i'm scared i'm really scared about like what's gonna happen if i take that top layer off because i'm pretty sure that is all that's holding my big toe together and it's my big toe like what the hell so yeah i'm gonna do a bit of nails uh this afternoon and i'm gonna do my tan this morning i'll show you what tan i am going to be using i'm not going to show me doing my full tan because i've showed this before in other videos and honestly i find tanning on camera really tricky because i'm paying more attention to you than i am the tan and i don't necessarily get my best results like i'm always so worried when I, obviously i work with bondi sans previous partner so whenever i've done videos with them i've always just been so worried and had to spend so long like tanning because i'm so conscious of i need to make sure that this is all okay and like, do i have memory and battery and this and there's the tan right and do i look okay and blah, blah blah and then i have to do it whilst wearing something like this as well instead of just being butt naked which is my preferred way to tan because it's just so much easier so i'm going to do it off camera but i'm going to talk you through kind of what i've done so far to prep i use a face halo but for your body this is double sided so it's got like a buffing side and a exfoliating side i use this in a shower multiple times throughout the week really just to make sure my tan wears off super sorry i can't i'm, sh I'm sure that i cannot get this back up here just to make sure my tan comes off super evenly and it really does i'm so happy with how that like buffs it all out i just think it works really nicely like it just looks really even and i don't feel like i can't even tell if i have fake tan on or not anymore so that's great today i'm going to be using the bondo sands aero aerated self tanning foam liquid gold this one i really like it goes on with no guide color which is a little bit scary but i use a bondo sands tanning mitt and then i also have a fresh new back applicator so this really helps do the back i showered this morning which i wouldn't normally do right before tanning but i just needed to wash the hair mask out of my hair but i didn't shave whilst i was in the shower i think i've said this in previous videos but i always try to not shave at least like a day before i tan because i find the tan just kind of gets stuck in your pores so yeah and then when i wash this out as well i'll wash it out in about six hours with this one i tend to leave it on just a little bit longer i don't know if it makes a difference or not when i wash that out i just like let the water rinse over my body and i don't use any shower gel or anything because i'm pretty sure it does need to that the chemical process and it doesn't come out as well as it could and also don't shave straight away once i've washed it off either for a hairy girl like myself it is an absolute nightmare yes Yes, it is. And then what I'm going to do is later in the week, I'm going to use the last of my, this is like, they they still sell this, but I think it's been rebranded into the Aero formula. So it's like Aero One Hour Express Tan, I'm pretty sure. I've got the last dregs of this and then I've got another Aero in a bottle. This is the Self Tanning Foam One Hour Express. And I'm going to use this later in the week just to top up my tan and just keep myself looking really nice and really bronze because I'm not getting any summer sun this year. So I'm really going to go heavy on the tan. It always just makes me feel so good. So that is like number one priority. I'm going to do my face as well just throughout the day today. I've already put on the Tan Lux Super Glow Hyaluronic Serum. And then I'm going to layer the Adaptive Tan Mist by Oscar over the top. This works beautifully. I love it. I'm going to do some now. Try not to get this on the camera. That's probably a bit much, but... And it just gives like a really nice glow kind of straight away. And then it develops throughout the day. And I love, 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 love. That. so yeah that's what i'm doing this morning i'll update you on my tan later in the afternoon and i'll be back with you to do my nails i actually also managed to get curry sauce on one of them last night so that's looking a bit yellow and that's not cute so it's a good thing i'm redoing it gonna go down i'm on my balcony i've got my things my extension cable <laughs> which is uh powering this and this is the amount of lift i had on that nail like that has all been able to just be pulled off and it's probably due to me having really bad acrylic or the fact that my tips have grown out but what i'm gonna do is shave all of this down and i'm also gonna file the nail down as well and have like shorter nails just for a little bit because i might be able to just like file the tip out instead of having to use acetone which would be preferable for my lungs but i'm just gonna like file that one down and see what's going on in underneath and then make a decision but i don't think i'll do a whole false tip what i might just do is a layer of acrylic if i can over the top and just grow the tips out if possible if there is any tip left once I'm done filing so 
yeah, I'm gonna see how this goes. So this is the tool I use to file down. I'll link everything that I'm gonna be using in the info box below. I need to change the head on this one, but I found this to be really, really good so far, really easy and quite powerful. I was expecting it to be like quite nothing, but this one has been really good. This is the acrylic powder I'm using. As I said, everything will be linked. These are my brushes. I've got a whole set of these nail files. This is my acrylic liquid. And then I found an amazing polish, the one that I've got on my fingers right now. I really, really like it. It's the Blue Sky Gel Polish. And there was someone in one of my last videos that commented saying that it's either, I can't remember, one other brand. I think it was my gel, which actually I think is my top coat. My gel or Blue Sky are like the only like good at home gel colors to use. I mean, CND is probably a really great one as well because I've used those before and really liked it. But this I love and I love the color so much. The shade is Bare Lingerie. It was my perfect color. I think it was like very similar to the one that I had before all of this lockdown shares went down. So I'm very happy with it. I'm also gonna try a two minute session under the lights, which was what someone else also said to do. And it apparently stops your nails going streaky. So I'm gonna give that a go too. <laughs> still need to do a little file around the edges and I think they could probably do with a few more seconds under the lamp just around the edges but I need to eat my dinner so I thought I'd shade them now before I forget. These are my real nails guys, my real nails. So the tips I was able to just file off and then I just filed the acrylic layer down, did a really thin layer of that just to give it some strength and then my three layers of gel polish over the top. It's a lot, I don't love my real nails, I miss my old ones but there we go. Ready? It is Monday. I've been putting this off all day, but I'm gonna take my hair extensions out. My new video is up. Ryan is turning the house into a club for one. <laughs> and I have had a glass of rosé, or I'm having a glass of rosé. It's there. And I'm now feeling confident enough to use my final bottle of gin to take my hair extensions out. So let's see how this goes. I'm just excited to be able to put my hair in a ponytail again because my extensions were put up quite high because I don't normally put my hair in a ponytail, but yeah, we weren't anticipating this. My makeup was also really rubbed off my forehead. So I'm gonna sort this out, get it all out, looking forward to being able to put it up and put hair masks on it and yeah. Wild Monday night in. So I'm sure a lot of you have been wondering, how do you? Use a bottle of gin, like what do you do? Well, maybe some of you have tapes and you don't know this yet. If not, your hairdresser has been hiding secrets from you. A lot of you might have been wondering how people are gonna take out their tapes or how you could take out your tapes. I don't recommend this because I just don't recommend you try any of the random stuff that I do at home because I'm an absolute cowboy when it comes to, if something needs to be taken out of my head, I will take it out. And this is the least damaging way I've found that's not like cutting my hair out, which I have done that once before. It was bad. I don't advise that because you will end up with no hair. I've only done it once before when it, I was in a particularly sticky situation. I can't remember what it was, but I had basically had to cut the hair extension out. But most of the time what I do is I will either use an oil and leave it for a very long time. It's a long process. It's a long slog, but it does work. That's why if you have extensions, you're told not to put your conditioner too high up on your head because it will make the tape slip down. Alcohol does it a lot faster. So <laughs> I look like an absolute alcoholic right now, but let's do this. I'm gonna get a scrunchie. I'm tempted to start with the top layer just so you can see what's going on. Let's take this one out because this one has been annoying me for so long. So I'm just really excited for it to not be there anymore. Can I just say, this is much easier if the bottle is full. Um, unfortunately, I drank the gin at some point. This would be so much easier if I had a spray bottle, but I don't. Yeah, there we go. So I just do it really, really slowly. So just a tiny bit comes out, not too much. I don't want to drench my whole head in it yet. We may come to that. I'm just kind of making sure that that alcohol is all over the root so it kind of seeps down into the tape. That's what they look like if anyone hasn't seen what my taping extensions look like before. So they're sticky on both sides and what the alcohol does is it just dissolves the stickiness basically. Now what I do need, what would be very, very helpful to me right now is a comb that has like a pointy end. I don't know if I still have one of these because I lose them constantly and what a bad time to have lost them. Aha. 
So what you can do, and I don't know if I'll be able to do this yet because I don't know if it's come unstuck. What you can do is once it starts to peel apart, which it's starting to do, you can just use the end of this to lever it. Now, I think I'm going to need a little bit more gin. <laughs> no, just kidding. Just kidding. I've got rosé, that's enough. I'm not mixing. So what I do is I put the tape over the gin and then I put my fingers behind it just to stop too much excess alcohol coming out because what you don't want to do, like I said before, is tip it all over your head. Now, this is going to be a little bit of a long process, I feel like, because this is normally something I do... Oh, getting that. Normally something I do when the tapes are already, like, at the end of their life, especially underneath. They tend to wear and tear a little bit more because I'm putting that hair up more but these bits of hair don't undergo so much wear and tear so it is a little bit of a longer process you have to kind of like let it sit unfortunately i'll still wait for that to do its thing i'm gonna do the ones underneath as well just might as well whilst i'm here i'll be here all night and if needed what i will also do is just sit with a hair mask like a really oily like mix an oil and a hair mask together and sit with it like fully all over my head in hopes that everything just starts like falling out Ooh. I think we've got one. I knew this would be the first one. So this little one, if you watch the other vlogs, or actually you might not have seen this vlog yet, but this one has been annoying me all day. I filmed the beginning of what I think might be the next vlog or the vlog after that. This one has been poking out the side of my head all day and I knew this would be the first one to go because normally when they start like twisting and being a bit of a pain, that's when they're starting to like get towards the end of their life or like the needing to be removed. So this one started to go first and I knew it. I don't know if you can see but it's like coming apart. So I'm just gonna really gently peel it, like super gently. I don't wanna like damage my hair as much as physically possible. Woo, I've been really looking forward to this one getting off of my head. So I don't know if you can see, but it is split open in two. So what I will then do is put the gin like directly in between that bit, just so it really sinks in. And I know I'm probably making the weirdest faces doing all of this and even whilst I'm talking to camera because I'm really trying to concentrate. <laughs> My concentration face is literally one of the ugliest faces I think I make. There we go. <sighs> Number one. Number one is out. Woo! Okay, still a bit stuck to my hair, but this is progress. Sometimes what you can... There we go. There. There we go. <laughs> oh, and only like a strand of my own hair was in that. Yep, great. Okay. Woo! First one is out. That was the hair that was in between. <laughs> this is so tragic. <laughs> Why? why is this happening to me yeah okay i think this one might be ready a little bit of peeling on the corner it's always the edges uh which are the best bits so like either side of the length of the tape those are the best bits to kind of see if you can pry apart rather than starting in the middle the middle is always like for my tapes is so um tightly sealed so i'm just gonna throw some gin on it i've got the gin that ryan bought me for my birthday on standby <laughs> just in case i'm so sorry He's really unhappy about it. But you're doing me a real solid because these need to come out. Like, honestly, babe, you need to come see this. <laughs> you just need to understand the mess this is getting me out of. Ooh, oh my God. Ah! Okay, that's one bit that's not attached to my head. Now I've got the other half, which is still very much attached to my hair. If any of these go terribly wrong, by the way, all I'm going to do is just cut the hair into my own hair length because I'm not cutting my own hair out. <laughs> I'm not damaging my hair, I've spent too long growing this. Two down, probably about 40 more to go. I'll be right back. Hi, okay, so good news, I have quite a few bits of hair that are now out of my head and I also found this old Tresemme heat protecting spray which had nothing in it. I knew that not cleaning up after myself and always have it, I, I always, backstory, in this cupboard, there's all my hair products and there's always something in there that is empty that I've forgotten about, but that's irrelevant right now. I'm just really happy because messy me has done future me a favor and I can now just spray the solution I've put the gin in here and I can now just spray it directly where it needs to be because tipping it was difficult it was getting difficult and I was just pouring it all over myself it was not good one thing I also wanted to say and I think this is important to remember is like how essential that little pointy comb is going to be if you don't have nails like I'm getting quite far quite quickly from just being able to quite easily pry the tapes apart but if you don't it will be a struggle Oh, 
guess I'll just go. Spaniel ears are going wild. So I didn't get to talk to you very much last night after I finished my hair because Ryan was doing his live stream and it was very, very late by the time I'd completely finished this and I was honestly mentally dead. But yeah, the hair is out. I am rocking this little, it's not even a long bob anymore, it's just like awkward mid-length hair. I've got my little extensions in just to kind of thicken it up a bit because it just makes it look a bit cleaner and a bit more modern and I love that vibe. I think what I'm also going to do is take some very long hair rehab extensions I have. They're like down, somewhere down here, really, really long. I'm gonna cut them in to a nice like, just get to give my hair a bit more length than this. Maybe slightly softer cut because this is very like clean cut. But yeah, I think I'm gonna do that next week but i do enjoy the kind of like very modern vibe that short hair has so i'm wearing just like i'll pop a picture of my outfit or a little video of my outfit that i just put on stories but i'm just wearing like an oversized shirt today and my cat eye sunglasses all for a wild working day on the balcony i know and yeah i do like it it just takes like a little bit of getting used to but it's been a great excuse for a whole video so far to touch my hair so so yeah that is my hair update do i still have loads of glue stuck in it yes yes i do am i gonna do anything about it no, I'm gonna leave that to my hairdresser in like, God, six months time. But it is really nice to just like know, like it's all my hair and I'm like, oh, this is actually quite nice. And it feels like really, really soft in really great condition because the extensions have been covering my real hair for so long. It just means that the hair kind of gets shielded a bit more from heat, which is great. So today, I think this evening, I am going to do brows. I've put no makeup on today. I'm trying to get these spots to calm down. So I'm glad I'm filming this this week. It's a good excuse to not wear makeup, but still work. I'm going to do brows, which I've always done from home anyway. I've been plucking them since I was 12. I know it's probably really bad. My eye skin is probably gonna sag into my eyeballs at some point in my 30s, I don't care. I don't care. It's been this long already. So they don't really grow anymore. I probably pluck them like once every two months. So it's great. And then I think I might do, I might just do hair in general today so i'll explain to you what i used on my hair last night and i'll do my eye brows and then my mustache because this has been needing to be done for ages and i've been waiting to do it in this video so that will be fun and then i'll do teeth and like extra bits tomorrow hello everybody so it's actually the next day i got a bit distracted yesterday i was doing quite a lot of admin stuff that was very very important and needed doing and then ryan and i ended up having pancakes and prosecco after dinner so basically yesterday was a bit of a write-off and i did not get around to dealing with my facial hair it was not priority I feel like that's the case for most things for me at the moment, like especially the past couple of weeks, hair, tan, none of it has been a priority. So I have kind of left it, hence why we're doing this video, because I just need to actually do all of it because my eyebrows, especially, I don't know if you can see, my eyebrows are getting quite wild and I find if I, especially if I don't do my upper lip, my lip starts to look really weird because the hair kind of like almost looks like shadow and then it makes it look like my lips are like uneven but they're not it's just literally like the hairline like where it kind of starts to stop anyway i need to deal with that i've always plucked my eyebrows because they were unruly when i was younger they used to kind of like meet right in the middle and i was so self-conscious of it my upper lip have always been quite self-conscious about like when i was at school and i had quite a few years like in my early 20s where I just didn't really worry about it and the main reason I actually do it now isn't because it bothers me so much like it does annoy me that I think especially when I used to have lip filler there's no filler left in my lips now but it kind of exaggerated it a bit more it bugged me then so I had to do it more often when my lips were bigger because I just found that it kind of made them look even bigger but it doesn't bother me so much what bothers me more is like if I do a video that is completely irrelevant to this and then someone comments on it and then there's a group of comments all about it and it's like every all the hard work I did on that video is like completely taken away by this one thing that is like a very very normal thing and I know lo lots of people have very light hair so they're not used to seeing it but it's just really annoying when people just spend all their time like pointing that out and it's like 
some people just have dark hair hun like get on with your life but it's annoying when you as a youtuber work so hard on a video and all of the comments are about something completely irrelevant like how much you touch your hair or your facial hair which is just ridiculous because it's like we all have it and i am very like dark i have fine hair but it is quite dark like as you can see with my brows i don't ever tint them they always look like this the only bits where they're lighter is actually where i over plucked as a kid and you can literally see i plucked to there and that's why those bits are sparse before that they were <laughs> so bushy so yeah the hair isn't like something that is a massive priority for me but i'm just gonna like maintain today and just keep on top of it and i'm also gonna use uh, my one hour express tan i'm not gonna do this on camera again because i just want to walk around butt naked but i'm gonna do this and then tidy my bathroom i've got a whole load of products that i need to clear up so i'm gonna do that and then i'm also gonna stick some teeth whitener in and talk to you about teeth and then i'll talk you through my hair products that i used the other night when i did a hair mask and purple shampoo and all of that because i know lots of you will be looking for like good purple shampoo recommendations at a time when you cannot get to the hairdresser to have your hair toned because i feel that i really miss my toner i love the color that my toner makes my hair I just can't get that one get it close but no donut so i'm gonna get started with my eyebrows i've got a mirror that's like right here for my own use because i'm not gonna be able to do this in the viewfinder i basically only really trim any hairs that aren't part of my eyebrow i'm happy with the shape of them i've been shaping them since i was about 12 so i don't really have too much to do it's just getting the rogue ones like these ones like sometimes when i'm bleaching here i also just bleach here and here as well just so that i don't have to pluck these as much but oh that made my eyes water but they are getting a bit unruly now they also go very yellow and i'm not particularly like precious about it because if i was i'd be plucking this as well i have dark hair that goes all the way to my hairline i just don't really bother with that but basically just like to keep it as neat as possible okay that's pretty much it for that and i always have one that grows in the middle here and i just pluck that and then this needs a little trim because that hair is out of control apart from that this is all very easy like i don't even really think about doing my brows and then i think i'm gonna oh that one this is how it gets you you're like oh and that one and that one don't do that so now i've done that i'm just gonna trim these this one never really needs trimming as much they all kind of stay very unified but the hair on this brow gets really out of control so i just literally trim them in line and kind of it helps shape them a little bit more so that when i brush them out they kind of make a similar shape to this brow this brow is just so well behaved so i just take my tiny scissors and this is gonna put fear in the hearts of brow ladies everywhere i am so sorry and then that one's quite long so just trim that that is pretty much it for my brows yeah happy with that so that is it for my brows mm. I try to never go overboard with them. I always think, oh, I could trim that one a bit more and that one a bit more. But yeah, I always just get to the point where I'm like, if, if it's fine, just stop there because that's probably where you need to stop. Don't go overboard. Next, I'm going to be using Jolene, which is my mild little bleach formula. Follow the instructions on the packet, but it's X amount of parts paste with X amount of parts powder and it kind of like activates it. Use this little mixing bowl, spatula, like that. I'm gonna do this over here because I need a sink because otherwise I will make a mess. Honestly, never thought I'd be doing this to entertain you guys on YouTube. This is like real life hairy girl stuff. This kind of stuff that I've just never gone to a beauty salon for because CBA to have someone else that close to my face, to be honest. I don't like it when people get all up in my face. I don't know if someone's gonna say be natural just leave it and you know what i like to i really like to because when i was at school there was a girl that had it way worse than me and she always made me feel so much better because growing up i was so self-conscious about this but some of the people in the comments just do my head in so here we are and if i have any leftovers sometimes i do a random patch on my arm just out of pure boredom but i won't do that today because i'm about to fake tan and i feel like it would just make it go wrong Right, so I always do a little test. I just take one bit off. 
I always leave a little bit extra just in case. My memory actually ran out on this camera so I didn't realise that it finished recording and it completely stopped. But I've taken the, what do you call it, like the bleach off. I always like kind of just leave it on for five minutes because otherwise my skin does get a little bit like red and irritated. But it's bleached most of it. I feel like I kind of lighten it to a point that I'm happy with. They don't have to be like white white hairs for me because my skin is like slightly more olivey so i find that i can just get away with putting it on a little bit and it's all fine so yeah that's what we're looking like and as you can see i do get a little bit of redness around here yeah so i leave it on for about five minutes i'm pretty sure the instructions say like eight or eight to ten so yeah that is all done that is my facial hair done it makes very little difference to be honest just like those little things i like to do to tidy everything up so once i do tan i'm also going to do my teeth i thought i'd mention my toothpaste i've been using here because those of you noticed that my teeth were whiter and you have been asking about this and i talk about it in so many vlogs and we cut it out because they get too long but it's the pearl drops luminous bright white pro shine complex and you can use this three times a day if you're like looking to really whiten your teeth and then after that you go on to two times a day it says it all on the back i think it costs around seven pounds and i really do recommend it i think it makes the most difference especially if i've had a lot of like coffee or if i'm drinking a lot of tea i find tea is the worst because I can drink more tea in a day. I have one coffee a day. And a lot of the time in the summer, I have it iced and it's for a straw. So it's not so bad on my teeth, but tea is like the devil for my teeth. I also do like to have like a lot of tomatoes in my food and stuff like that. So they do stain your teeth a little bit. It's not something I think anyone should really worry about, but I always do like to have kind of a whitening toothpaste. So it's this or the Oral-B Glamorous White. Oral-B is my favorite toothpaste kind of everyday toothpaste range but for whitening i really enjoy this one as well i've also got the crest 3d white white strips and i believe these are the ones from the uk that i'm using right now but i did used to have the us ones which are insane but they do make my teeth very sensitive whereas these don't but they still do some good for my teeth so yeah i normally stick these on and then stick my retainer which i won't show you i have like one of the retainers that's like a plastic top and then like i'm not even talking like thin plastic i'm talking like thick plastic and then it's got a metal wire around the front and then a plastic like encasing around the wires like proper like mouth guard level stuff but it's great for keeping my teeth whitening strip in place and it stops like any of the kind of liquid like moving around in my mouth so i just stick my retainer in with a white strip underneath for 20 minutes like max half an hour no longer because otherwise my teeth are going to hurt and yeah this twice a day at the moment but i was using it three times a day and just when i want to inject a little bit more whiteness i do three times a day so yeah that's what i'm going to be using in a bit i thought i'd just talk about that quickly there's not too much to show you i might check in at the end of the vlog and show you after i've used the teeth whitener but i'm just gonna like stick it on whilst i'm tanning and wait for it to develop and all of that toothbrush is the philips sonicare diamond clean something like that i'm not showing you too close up because it's like all stained pink because of the toothpaste but i love this toothbrush i love it i think it might have been on offer on asos if anyone wants to pick it up because i know lauren was interested in picking this up so i think she said it was on offer and then finally hair that i talked about the other night so i used the bleach london either the purple or the smoky uh shampoos and conditioners so the pink ones are the smoky kind of blonde ones and then the purple ones are going to make it more of a your blonde more of a like white i used a mixture of both just because i kind of wanted that in between for my blonde but yeah i gave my hair a good wash with these just because it hasn't been toned in so long and my natural blonde is very kind of like naturally brassy because my hair is like this color naturally this is all my natural color and it has quite a warm undertone to it the second i go in the sun in the summer it like goes orange it's just the way my hair has always kind of been but it means that my blonde does go more of a yellow color so these were very much needed now that the extensions were off and i could just get product directly onto my own blonde hair and then i also used this hair mask before i washed my hair this is the olaplex hair perfector number three i love the olaplex range i think it's really really great for blonde hair my blonde ends have really really held up so my natural i don't know if you will have seen but my hairdresser always tells me like if your hair holds that like blunt cut what is it she said she's like the integrity of the cut is still there or something like that so it means that your hair is not like breaking off and mine was like really really good when i took the extensions out so i'm very happy with the condition of it and i do think like having used olaplex since around november has been really really great for it so yeah that is what i used in terms of my mask so yeah that is it for chat through i'm gonna pop my one hour express tan on just to kind of top this tan up a bit i'm very happy with it i did get some marks from where i had to put a bra on just shortly after it was developing but it's still looking fairly good and yeah i'm just gonna top it up to keep me feeling really nice and whiten my teeth and i'll be back with you to check in and kind of round this up i have tanned i have showered my tan off i've taken my hair down it's a little bit wavy but it's got a kink from where i had it in a ponytail so 
this is kind of how I'm looking after two hours of extra tan on. It's still, it won't start getting darker, I don't think, until about five this evening. But just so you can see, this is the kind of like bronziness that my skin is at and I like using the one hour tan just to top up. I think that that combined with the exfoliating just um, keeps everything looking really really fresh and really nice and considering I have the time at the moment I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna stick with that routine. I really really like it. I've also put a full face of makeup on. I was gonna talk through a kind of facial massaging routine that I do as well but I'm actually gonna leave that. I'm gonna touch on skincare fully in a separate video I think because this one's getting very long. Yeah. Mustache is looking fairly non-existent brows are looking very good if i do so so myself yeah i just look like normal really because i do all of this stuff at home anyway it's mostly just been my hair and my nails that are the biggest difference my nails i'm still not happy with i have come to a realization that the reason that i like my nails to be nice is because i'm looking at them you don't see your face all the time you don't see your hair all the time but i am constantly looking at my hands i think especially because of my job constantly looking at my hands so they do bug me but i'm just excited to kind of grow them out again and if i feel like it i might put the tips back on if i've got a day where i'm very very bored but my my schedule is actually starting to pick back up a little bit which i'm kind of sad about because i really just want to sit and play sims all the time at the moment knew i shouldn't have downloaded it it was the nail in my productivity coffin just gonna put that out there but i love it so much i've been the most unproductive the past few weeks and i'm thoroughly enjoying it but anyway if i do have a day i might redo them and if i do the tips i'll probably show you in a vlog but yeah that's gonna be it for me i don't think i have any other beauty updates oh my teeth I think they look quite white actually on camera. When I finished taking the strips off, I didn't think they would look that different, but actually, maybe they're just like this all the time and I don't realise. But yeah, that is how I'm looking. Yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. I will see you again on Monday. I really like the beginning of Monday's vlog. I've already started it. Uh, you're going to like it. If you like spring dresses, spring summer dresses, you're going to really, really love it. So yeah, I will see you guys again on Monday. Bye.